Hi there, it's Fabian speaking and this is a tutorial for my new script OBJ Vertex Export. Before you get all excited, it only exports position values. So you get something like a point cloud. But you can read them back in with Plexus and uh, create pretty nice animations and keep your compositions clean uh, by throwing out all that layers. As you can see, there are tons of layers in here and uh, I will export them or I already exported them to an OBJ file. There's not a lot to say about the uh, user interface. If you check the sequence checkbox, he will export the whole work area as uh, OBJ sequence. And if you don't check it, he will only export the current frame. So make sure you get your um, CDI where you want to export and then just hit export. And there is this tiny help where he tells you what's going on. It works out of the box, as I said, with Plexus. You can import the sequences into form by trap code, but the, the AE world doesn't match up with the OBJ world. I don't know why. Plexus gets it right. And you can't import them in um, Element 3D. I man managed it to import them to Blender, um, but I don't got a lot of experience with Blender, so I really can't tell you how to do this. I wrote this for Plexus to get positions into OBJs. So for example, I have this comp here with tons of layers, with tons of animations, and I want to get all this data into one OBJ file. So I already did it for this comp. I just want to show you what you can achieve. Um, all These really match up with the OBJ vertex points, but they are not in use anymore because it's already an OBJ sequence. And as you can see, you get a pretty fast uh, preview with that um, when you would use the, all these null objects. It's about uh, 125, something like this. Um, it would get really slow. So, you get this. Or, here you can see what you can achieve. So you make your animation with tons of null objects or different layers, it doesn't matter, he eats everything. And uh, you export it to an OBJ file and uh, you can get rid of all this uh, extra layers. Pretty nice. I like it. Or something like this. Solo this. So this is an OBJ sequence generated from After Effects layers. From this. And yeah, it was, I've been playing a bit, something like this. And my use case for this is uh, creating animations with maps. So I exported location data with one of my scripts to uh, OBJ, to an OBJ sequence. And now I can create points on a, on a globe. And Every, everything keeps pretty fast. Let me show you once how you go through the export. I shut off the plexus for the moment. And here we got an animation I, I made totally of nulls. And as easy as, it's, as it looks, if you want to export just a single frame, select the layers, get the position you want, hit export. He opens a dialog to choose a folder, choose your folder, 
and as you can see now he starts to write. If you just export single frames, you can leave it like that um, while he's exporting. If you export uh, sequences, you have to know if you have a lot of parenting going on, um, he will take a lot of time. If you have unparented layers, it's much faster. And he's also faster if you write these uh, data off screen. I will show you in a moment what that means. And have a look at the info panel. Now he is done. As you can see, he took the name of the comp and added a date with a second, so you can't overwrite files, and wrote it to the folder. So you can export it later on and import it back into your Plexus. And uh, for the sequence, just Check the sequence checkbox, select the layers you want to export or deselect those you don't want to export, set your work area. He will export now the whole work area and just hit export. Maybe you make a new folder. It's my example export folder. And do it. Now it's pretty wise to change to a different application and After Effects will be much faster instead of writing while you see what he does. So let's wait a moment. So it took him about maybe a minute to write 150 frames with about uh, 125 layers. And they are all parented, so every time he has to calculate the parented position. That's okay, I think. It can be useful, and then you get uh, every position value into OBJ. So you see, let me deselect this. They really match up. I set the anchor point to the center, so don't wonder. It's better to handle. I hope you enjoy the script and let me know if you run into any problems, so I can help you with that. Just leave a comment at ascripts.com. Have a nice evening.